um, Molly Bloom from James Joyce's Ulysses. Now she didn't think very much of the male organ when she said, and what does a man look like standing there with his two bags full and the other thing sticking up with you like a hat rack? Sure it's no wonder they hide it under a cabbage leaf. But you know I'm surprised that James Joyce himself didn't use the Irish words for genitalia in his works because it makes for very interesting translations. Of course, us Irish girls back in the 60s, we had the Irish Dictionary for our sex education as well as the English and of course the Latin which are fellatio and your cunnilingus and of course even the little bit of French in your soissant neuf. But anyway, we're going to have a brief seminar in the naming of sexual parts as Gaelga. First, the Irish for clitoris is brill. Isn't that great? Your clitoris is brill. But of course in English it's also the name of a fish, a brill. So there's a bit of a fishy theme starting here. The, when you look up the Irish section, you'll find no clitoris. Instead you'll find vulgar gossip. The bastards have performed clitoridectomy. They have cut off our clitoris, all part of their clitoris envy. The Irish for vulva is pit. Sounds quite big, doesn't it? Pit. But when you look up the Irish section, you'll still find that our vulva is left intact, but you'll also find that it's a shellless crab. So the fishy theme is definitely continuing. The Irish for vagina is fine. Isn't that great? Your vagina is fine. But watch out. It's also the Irish for condom. So that could cause confusion in the Gaeltag with youngsters going in asking the pharmacist for a fine. And goodness knows he'll be having to tell them that he doesn't run a brothel. And the other thing that they might be looking for in the pharmacy, there's something called a toncratera. Now that should does translate to a wave machine, I suppose like a curling tongs, but it is in fact the Irish for a vibrator. The Irish for penis is bod, little bod, sounds kind of cute really, but you'll also find it's the Irish for lout, so there might be a little bit of female revenge going on in there. Now the phrase bod on boher should translate to penis of the road, but it is in fact the Irish for a tramp, and bod more should translate to big penis, but it is in fact the Irish for a fish, to be precise. It's the Irish for ling, hence the silly song, my ding a ling. But like I said, you know, you can have great fun with translations, but would you believe that I went to school with a girl whose name was Son of a Whore. Goodness knows what Mr. and Mrs. Whore were thinking of when they named her Son of a. And would you also believe that the Irish for dictionary is in fact folklore. Thank you ladies and gentlemen.